Doug Batchelor's prophetic vision is being fulfilled in front of our eyes. On October 14, 2019, when the General Conference Executive Committee was deliberating the new document on abortion, Pastor Doug Batchelor warned Adventists that some prospective baptismal candidates were losing their interest in joining the church upon learning the sorry history of abortion in our denomination. Your name and where you're from. Doug Batchelor, pastor in North America. Uh, firstly, I'd like to praise God that the church is addressing this issue, and I want to thank those responsible for making this happen. It's a good document. I wish it had happened sooner. Uh, I, for one, can think of several people that were baptized or about to join our church over the years, and then they discovered our church's existing posted guidelines on abortion, and they left the church. So how do our pastors and evangelists solve this serious problem? They carefully hid the dirty linen found in our church. There is a recent anecdote that illustrates this. An Adventist pastor was preparing a group of prospective baptismal candidates, when he noticed to his dismay that some of his members were discussing the topic of abortion. He immediately asked them to change their topic with this warning, don't you realize that if these baptismal candidates hear what you are saying they may like lose their interest in joining our church? Does it have to come to this? Do we need to hide the true nature of what has been taking place in our church? When I was being trained to become a realtor, four decades ago, the first lesson I learned was my duty of full disclosure. If I noticed a red flag in the property I was showing for sale, my obligation was to disclose this to the prospective buyer. If I failed to do this, I could be sued for damages and I could lose my realtor's license. In my many decades as a realtor, I lost several transactions for following this rule. My question is, what would happen if our evangelists and pastors were trained on these principles of full disclosure? Even used car salesmen have this duty of full disclosure. Are our pastors and evangelists exempt of this moral duty? Our evangelists and pastors advertise Adventism as those who keep God's commandments, knowing full well that our church has been violating one of those commandments since 1970 when our church embraced elective abortions. Can the Lord bless this deceptive moral behavior? Will realtors and used car salesmen rise up on Judgment Day and condemn our pastors and evangelists for their failure to tell the truth, the full truth and nothing but the truth? There is a YouTube video created by a very concerned pro-life Adventists I would like you to see. I selected a good portion of said video for you here. Make sure you watch it till the end and learn what you can do to help correct this moral anomaly in our church. You have the power to alter the course of Adventist history. Don't underestimate said God-given power. Catholic non-converts to Seventh-day Adventist Church immediately regrets it. It's my morning medicine. If I don't get exercise, my mind just ain't right. As many of you know, my wife is a doctor. She's a licensed practicing ob gyne physician, has worked many years in Adventist hospitals. So she understands the abortion issue really well. And because of all the years of medical school and working these 24, 36 hour shifts, all her friends are doctors. All her friends are physicians, different hospitals, government, Adventist, non-Adventist. Her co-residents, who's also an Adventist, told my wife this story. She said she had a really good friend, has a really good friend, who was a Catholic nun. Been a Catholic nun for many, many, many years. And she started studying the Bible and she started showing more interest in getting to know what the Bible says on different topics and eventually found her way to the Seventh-day Adventist Church, got Bible studies, recently baptized. So she joined the Adventist Church recently. And as soon as she joined, she immediately somehow found out about the problem of abortion within our church. And it just broke her heart. I mean, it was awful experience. She called up her friend, the physician, and she said, what is this? You people support killing children? You've done this all these years? This is awful. She said, I think I've made a terrible decision. I don't understand why you guys support this. How can you keep the Sabbath but support killing children? This is awful. And because this happened recently, the 
the consultant who doesn't really know much about our history. Most Adventists, most Adventists outside North America uh, know nothing about our history or our teaching the last 50 years. That's true, especially even in North America. Many people just have no idea. And so this is new to everyone over here. So this was new, but she looked it up and she said, well, we just got a brand new position. And, you know, we were told by our church leaders, Ted Wilson, Mark Finley, D'Souza, and all these leaders said, oh, it's going to be biblical. We're going to have a brand new biblical position. It's going to be pro-life. We're going to protect children. Da, 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 da. So they've been waiting for this protocol. And now this protocol has just come out recently, within the last few weeks or month or so. And the Adventist Church, GC, has just slapped everyone in the face by publishing another position openly, brashly, unashamedly supporting the murder of children for many mental health reasons. Now I have a question for those of you watching this video. I have a question for you. Do you think Mark Finley is gonna come explain to this Catholic nun why we support abortion? Is he gonna give her biblical reasons? Of course not. What about Ted Wilson? He stood there and told the whole church, this is biblical, it's biblical, it's biblical, just accept it, it's biblical. If Ted Wilson finds out about this nun, is he gonna come tell her? No. We Adventists will do everything in the world to get someone to join our church. We will not tell you what we believe on abortion, we will not explain to you. But once you join, if you find out and you wanna leave or hurt your, hurt your feelings, they won't do anything. They won't say a single word. You know, this is, I mean, this makes me furious. I mean, this makes me so angry. Here's this woman, a nun. She has left everything in her life. She's committed everything that she has to support God according to her own understanding. She's living in a church as a nun for all these years and she has just recently abandoned everything she's ever believed. She's abandoned all her community. She's abandoned her church. She's left everything to become a Seventh-day Adventist. And now our church openly smacks this woman in the face by telling her, we have a position, it's biblical, it's biblical, we're the commandment, don't dance, don't drink, don't wear jewelry, blah, 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 don't eat cheese, blah, 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 but support the murder of children as their act of religious liberty. This is absolutely insane. This is completely insane. And what's worse, you know, this has been going on for 50 years. This didn't just happen 50 days ago. This isn't five days old. The Adventist church, our church, your church has been lying about this for 50 years. How many other nuns? How many other evangelicals? How many other Mormons and Jehovah Witnesses? How many other Hindus, Buddhists, and Muslims? How many other people out there would have joined our church that have not? How many people would have joined if God could have blessed us with a greater ability to evangelize if we had been supporting this awful, horrendous sin? I mean, this is murder. Uh, but there is good news. There's a little bit of good news. When this horrible sin was brought into our church in 1970, there was no internet. No one knew what was going on. He just kind of took, he trusted leaders. We should be able to trust church leaders to tell us the truth. If you can't trust your own leaders in your own church, in the Seventh-day Adventist church, then who can you trust? These people have lied to us for 50 years. We got good news though. 1970, 1971, no internet, no one really knew what was going on. They deliberately kept it a secret until the mid 1980s. Catholics and evangelicals found out and they're like these crazy Adventists, they went and protested in front of our institutions and said, you murderers, you murderers, you tell us to keep the commandments, you support and practice murder. Of course, that got into the Washington Post, church began to find out, the issue got re-raised re in the, I gotta start running mosquitoes, it got raised in the 19, 80s and then 1992 they brought in this new position and since 1992 all these church leaders have told us it's biblical it's biblical it's biblical it's never going to change 2016 2017 this issue got really agitated how did that happen it really got agitated and so we got this new position in 2019 and they said you know the new position they said we're going to define everything we're going to explain it with a new protocol so everyone everyone who's been following this issue uh, so many mosquitoes Everyone who follows this issue, like me, like you, we've been waiting for this protocol and they just now published it within the last, I don't know, few days ago, a few weeks, probably within the last month or so. They sure did not announce it and you know the reason why. But there's an important lesson to learn from, learn from this. There's something that's really important. 
in the English language, I know many of you who watch my video, you're not from, you don't speak American English, I get it. There's this phrase called, you strike while the iron is hot. That it's easy to mold and shape metal when it's red hot. Once that metal cools down, you can't move the metal anymore. You can't bend steel when it's cold. If it's red hot, it's easy. You can, with one hand, with a pair of pliers, you can turn a piece of metal. But it has to be red hot. Right now, the situation is red hot. They just published this. Now is the time to say something. Now is the time to do something. You know, it's like concrete. If you ever work with concrete, when you mix concrete and you pour fresh concrete, it's wet. It's like, it's like, like jello. It's a liquid. You can, man you can manipulate concrete with your finger when it's wet. But the moment that that concrete hardens, it's over. You, you can't break that with a sledgehammer. You have to take out a sledgehammer to smash it over and over. Hopefully that it will break. Right now, this issue of abortion in our church is wet concrete. It's white, hot, red, molten metal. If you've never said anything before, now is the time to say something. The reason this issue has not changed in 50 years is number one, people know almost nothing. And many people who know did or said nothing because they felt it couldn't change. Several years ago, people told me, Andrew, the church is never gonna change. It's never gonna change our position. You're wasting your time with those videos. And now look, 2019, brand new position. Agitation works. Agitation works. Now, we have the advantage. To you watching this video, you have the advantage. Because the concrete is dripping wet. They just published this position. If you care about Christ, if you care about this church, even if you're not an Adventist, if you're a Catholic or evangelical or whoever you are, if you want to see the church stop supporting murder, if you have friends or family who are Adventists, you want them to see to get out of this sin, pick up the phone, call the GC, ask to speak to the president's office, leave a message there, talk to the secretary, send emails, send letters. I've been doing this. I've written over 1,100 letters. I've written so many letters of protest to church leadership and I know this for a fact, I explained this in other videos, that people, pro-abortion defenders within the GC, uh, told the mailroom to block my letters. So I can't send letters anymore. I've already sent over 1,100. But you can. And here is what you can do to help the church you love. And you should be terribly offended because they didn't even try to hide it. They came out and said, yeah, murdering children for a mother. Page three, paragraph four, you can see it right here. Murdering a child for a mother's, quote, mental health. This is therapeutic abortion. Page four says right there, in our therapeutic abortion within our, within our own church institutions. So right now, these lead another good video, but you know, there's nothing we can do. That's a lie. Don't expect God to do some great miracle when you're not doing what you can do right in front of you, every single last one of you, if you can afford to watch the internet, send an email. I don't want to hear excuses. No excuses. Pick up a piece of paper and a pencil and write the, let, write the church leaders. Get a crayon. Don't write some big old fancy letter. Just take a crayon and write in big letters. Stop supporting abortion and send it. They'll read that. I mean, stand out. Do something. If I can fly from the Philippines all the way to Silver Spring, Maryland and stand there by myself protesting at the annual council, if I can do all that being a layperson, how much more can you do? Something to think about. If this, uh, if this has just broken the heart, I mean, just ruined this poor woman's heart. She's committed her whole life to the Catholic Church and she's been lied to. If it breaks her heart, how much do you think it breaks the heart of Christ? I mean, does Christ have anyone in the Adventist church that's actually going to say anything? Or are you just going to watch this video and say, yeah, good video. Make another video for the future. Keep telling the truth. You got to say something. You can't just sit there. Oh, may God bless your efforts. Every last one of them. Peace. Video link. HTTPS colon slash slash udu dot be slash uut 7 btq liku. Video link http colon slash slash www.adventistonline.com slash video slash catholic hyphen nun hyphen converts hyphen to hyphen seventh hyphen day hyphen adventist hyphen church hyphen immediately